different calories for men versus women. Men are much larger, don't they need more calories? If you want to experiment with that, you can, but as long as you stick to the macro breakdowns and you're staying in general around the recommended calories, so about 1100 on day one and then 800 from days two to five. Now, this is a fascinating thing that I've read from Joel Furman in his book about fasting. He uses fasting as a modality for his patients. Now, he says that most of us have enough reserves in our body to not eat anything, to just do a water-only fast for up to 30 days. We have to do it under medical supervision because it is no joke. Google says you need about 500 calories a day to stay alive. <laughs> So between those two pieces of advice, just to start, I recommend that you start with at least 500 calories and you go up to what Longo says. You can push it up a little bit, but if you experiment with yourself, you're going to have to measure your ketones. You're going to want to start measuring your ketones on either day two or day three. And the most accurate way to do that is measuring your blood ketones. Okay, so you're gonna to have to get those little needles, the lancets, and put it into a ketone meter and prick yourself and do the rest. The best way to do that is you get up in the morning before you eat anything. Ideally, you're up for at least half an hour to an hour and then you're measuring your ketones. You haven't eaten or drank anything but water, and that is going to be typically the lowest level of ketone bodies throughout the day. If you measure blood ketones from 0.5 to 3, Google says we are in an ideal ketone body range for weight loss, for example. Every single round, I feel hungry. However, it's not all day long hunger. There are many bouts and hours actually where I feel totally fine. I'm more thirsty, and so I am drinking more, but the hunger is just, it's just, it's so manageable. Do I feel kind of like empty in my belly because I know there isn't a lot of food in there? Yes, there's no weight from the weight of food, correct. But it's not the kind of hunger where I am just like starving, stomach is growling, and I'm just like hangry and just miserable. It's not like that at all. The fasting state is wonderful and it is beautiful. It is a beautiful place to be. And I'm very excited for you if you are about to get into it. people have said, I'm starving. And yeah, of course you're going to feel that way. Technically speaking, when we're in the fasting state and we're burning ketone bodies for energy because we're burning that visceral fat for energy, we can go on. Let's say Joel Furman is right. And let's say the average person can go 30 days without eating anything. You are not in the starvation mode yet. Once you burn through all of that visceral fat and all of the fat and any, any other kind of energy that the body can provide for itself, then we move into the starvation state. So it's like normal everyday life, go into the fasting state, beautiful state, and then you go into starvation. Okay, I'm about to go to a lunch. I'm pre-packing my food and eating my little sad salad and my little cashews and berries while other people are going to be gorging on pizza. <laughs> I also got my drink with me, my sparkling water, which I suppose I shouldn't be shaking up too much. I've got my snacks, okay? I've got my cashews. I've got some fresh blueberries and I'm just gonna pack my salad right now. So I am going to be prepared and just knowing, taking every single bite, Mm, like just that burst of flavor, not only is so good, but thinking and being mindful of that food coming into the body and giving us that life-giving energy is everything. So a lot of this is a mindful practice too. So you gotta get the mind right. <laughs> Other people will experience massive pains very deep headaches, a lot of body aches and pains during a fast, and they think this is not working, it's making everything worse. The reality is the fasting experts say that the more pain you experience, the more you are the one who needs this fast the most. So Alan Goldhammer, for example, he runs this fasting clinic up in NorCal, and he says that the barring patients <laughs> have like nothing going on during a fast. So 
technically I would be considered a boring patient because I don't have a lot going on. I do these body scans every day of a fast and I mark what's going on in the body. Not a lot of markings, but if you do have a lot of physical pain on the day to day, I encourage you, do your body scan. Just scan your body every single day and mark where it hurts and rate it out of five because on day one, it might be a five out of five. Day three or four, it might drop down to a three out of five. Once you start refeeding again, start powering those stem cells, instructing those stem cells. Now it's time for you to get to work, my friends, and start healing wherever your body needs it the most. Then one day that pain might be a zero out of five. What is life without a, lot of, a little bit of pain, right? Sometimes when we experience deep pain, we're able to then experience great abundance and great awareness and great gratefulness. So just know that it may be okay. Now, if you are on medications and if you are actually suffering from a lot of different things, make sure that you are doing this safely. So if you are doing a DIY fasting mimicking diet, please make sure you are working with your doctor. Ideally, that person knows about fasting. If they don't, at least they're measuring all the things that they should be measuring. Especially if you are on medications, don't mess around with that. Because once again, the fasting state is no joke. Okay, this is very serious. So if you are being over medicated while you are in the fasting state, just don't do that, okay? We don't need to add on problems in our lives. We're trying to remove them. Another question, why can't I prolong my fast for longer than five days? Okay, I get it, you feel good, you're seeing the weight drop off, it makes you very happy, you're looking at your face, you're like, wow, my face looks so much thinner, my midsection is smaller, I'm fitting nicely into my favorite jeans again. Just because you go longer doesn't mean it's going to be better. Walter Longo has said what he and his team have discovered is that being in the fasting state for three days is the optimal time to be in the fast. So it'll take up to two days to get into the fasting state, three days at least to be in, in it in the thick of it, and then just get out. Just get out. Start healing, start rejuvenating, start eating again. Woohoo! If you got any value from this video, please hit the like and subscribe, plus that bell notification so you don't miss a thing. Even more so, please share this with somebody in your life who could really use this information. I'm on a weight loss journey. Why would I eat such high fat for these five days? Okay, I know that may sound and feel counterintuitive. I'm putting all these high fat, high calorie dense foods into my body. It's because we are trying to trigger an actual metabolic state, which is ketosis. Yeah, we're going to go through ketogenesis, burning through the glucose stores, activating, using the visceral fat for energy, pumping out ketones, and that requires high fat, very low protein, very low sugar, and low to moderate carbs. So just know that once you trigger ketosis and you trigger this fasting state, if you are on a weight loss journey, the magic happens. It starts during the fast and it continues once you break the fast. And the key is to understand things like calorie density and essentially just understand food. What food is going to contribute to my weight gain and or my weight loss? What lifestyle factors are going to do that too? Get enough sleep, move your body, but most of it, of course, is the food that we're putting into our systems. So with that, Click on that guy and I will take you through a very credible medical team's program, very black and white rules to tell you exactly what to eat, sometimes what order to eat the food in, but basically these rules, they're very easy to learn and understand, not as easy to abide by, but at least the information is there, okay? They've been madly successful and they've helped thousands of people over decades of time. So click on that and I'll see you over there.